hey what's up guys you are watching full tech so the galaxy tab you just i didn't forget you so don't be sad as i created the combined community post for the not to and the galaxy tab you just for the pixel experience jsa sadly that jsa only work on the not to but on the galaxy tab is booted but didn't work after testing lots of the rom i found android 12 base lineage 19 for you which seems me more stable and daily drivable rom so today in this video i will show you with the short installation and the review video Video is provided with the timeline for the intro, review, performance, battery and the final verdict. So you can jump to the specific part that you want. So watch the video till the end and without wasting time, let's get started. On the new adventure. You will need the TWRP to flash the ROM and keep the full Android backup with the data before proceeding. I have given the last Galaxy Tab video with the installation of JS ROM but still I will explain here shortly. Download the exit file from the link given under the video description then extract that file using the exit file extractor on your phone. You can also do this process on the PC also. After extracting the file you get the Lineage 19 image file. Now power off your phone then press the volume up plus power button. Tablet will boot into the TWRP. Now locate the folder where we place the image file. Now tap on the install image at the bottom. You will see the Linux 19 image file. Select it and flash. Then go to the wipe. Tap format data and type yes. Now click reboot to the system. Installation process wipes your data. So always keep the Android backup of stock ROM. Also keep the internal storage data so you can revert back at any stage. Phone will boot to the old and beautiful boot animation of Lineage OS and it will take 2 to 5 minutes to boot. So in this video I will only discuss what's new thing we get and the bugs than the previous pH adjustable vanilla ROM video. So if you see under the about phone we get the latest security patch of January 2022. This build is also latest one that is of 14 January 2022. We can see the beautiful easter egg for the Android 12 and the Lineage OS 19 after tapping 2-4 times on the Android and Lineage OS versions. So as usual after booting to the ROM here we again get the device certification error like the other GSR ROMs. So I will quickly tell you how to solve this. Download the device ID APK from the link given under the video description. Transfer that into the phone using the PC or using the OTG cable. Install the app, open and copy the device framework ID. Now go to the device certification website of the Google and log in to your account. Now paste your framework ID there and click register when your device get registered. Close the app, go to the apps under the settings, wipe the data for the Play Service and phone app. That's it, your phone is now certified to the Google. So what's new in the ROM, as you got the Android 12, we get the, all the goodies of Android 12 like the new quick setting and the notification panel, new animation, new volume panel, new clock widgets of Android 12, wallpaper based monitor theming is added here which was missing in the vanilla PHS treble ROM, new clear all and the screenshot option in the recents, Android 12 lock screen is looking amazing on this tablet. All the graphical glitches has been fixed as compared to the last build. ROM comes with the Trebucket launcher, but I personally didn't like that so if you're one of me, my recommendation is to use the launcher launcher which has the big list of customization. So let's check what's working and what's not, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspots are working without any issues, dual sim networks works but remember the whole THD calling is not possible because it is still not fixed on the Exonus processors of Samsung devices. But normal incoming and outgoing calls are working fine. Bluetooth is working but if sometimes it doesn't work and you cannot hear the sound on the Bluetooth devices just check mark the A2DP offload in the PHS table setting and reboot your phone. It should work now. Instead of this what is not working? The TWRP encryption is not working means you cannot access the internal storage in the TWRP. Also USB transfer is not working when the phone is on. Instead of that use the OTG in the both the condition to solve the issue. So let's check the customization features. We we'll get the dedicated PHS table tab setting. There we we'll get the tabs like the Samsung features like the extended brightness, glow touch sensitivity, double tap to wake, dose features, miscellaneous features, IMS setting to enable the OLT but still it didn't work on the Samsung devices and the customization tabs. So the special feature like double tap to wake lock screen is working here, 460 hertz option is there. Also the inside the customization will get the custom theme color, 
icon shape, icon pack and the font family custom settings. Instead of this settings some customizations will be found under the settings display. The lock screen customization is there in that we can enable the media visualizer and the cover art options. Dedicated dark theme tab with the shading available now. Tap to slip and wake on the plug included. So the best part came here. The wallpaper based mono theming is included in the overall system which gives the amazing look to the tab. Under the wallpaper and style tab we get some wallpapers with every new wallpapers we can feel the new look of the device. But sadly no theme icon setting is available here. Inside the system we get the button, power menu, system and the gesture settings which help us to make the easier user interface of the tablet. So the customization ends here. Now comes the performance as this device is less powerful but on this clean UI your finger will glide. App will work faster and the Samsung stock UI is nowhere in front of this. But genuinely I want to say that you will feel some jitters sometimes. As this device is less powerful you cannot want to waste the time on the performance test like the Geekbench and all that things. So battery life is not tested yet but as per some users it feels same as the stock. Device has big battery so it can withstand the full day battery with the approximately 5 hours of SOT. So what is the final verdict? If it didn't matter who will be calling and can withstand with the data transfer issues of the USB cable along with the some less battery backup, you can definitely go with this ROM. Because except these bugs nothing is serious to avoid this jam. So that's it for today guys, if you like my work please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.